All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2018 Chevy Tahoe PPV. Up front is a 5.3 liter V8 and down below is a six speed automatic transmission. And if you wanna read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive where I'll be doing a full written review of the PPV Tahoe. But let's get back to that 5.3 liter V8. Well, it's an Ecotec 3 V8, and it sounds really, really good. The pickup is definitely there. Um, the sound really isn't. At an idle, it actually does sound pretty decent. But, I mean, it's not a straight pipe V8. It's an actually useful V8. Of course, when you buy a Tahoe, you're going to want to buy it with that V8. Although you can't actually buy the PPV Tahoe, we'll talk about that in a little bit. PPV stands for Police Pursuit Vehicle. So this is going to be a police car. But paired to it is that six-speed transmission. It's automatic. It does what you need it to do. And so far, so good. There is a towing mode. Um, so this vehicle is very equipped for towing. Now, part of the police package is stiffer suspension, and at the end of the video, I'll actually start getting into the specifics of the police package. But as you might be able to tell, it's a little bumpy. And that's because the suspension is built to handle whatever you throw at it, so comfort isn't really at the top of its priority list. Which is odd, because I drove a 2007 Tahoe, I did a review of an 07 Tahoe, and that was... I love driving that because it was so smooth sailing, just very leisure suspension. But that is definitely not the case with this. But with that stiffened suspension, it actually increases handling a lot. This car, this truck, this SUV, whatever you want to call it, it's kind of fun to throw into corners. I mean, because you have that stiff suspension, obviously you still feel real heavy, but I'm on a pretty curvy road right now. And I have to say, it's not the worst vehicle I've ever driven on a curvy road. Now you still do feel top heavy. There's no way of getting around that. It's a Tahoe. It's an SUV. Like it's gonna feel top heavy. So don't get me wrong. This doesn't feel like an S2000 in the canyons, but it definitely, it feels better than your luxury Tahoe or Equinox or whatever. So let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have actually a ton of gauges. I have the RPMs on my left, speedometer on my right, and then I have battery life, coolant temperature, fuel, and oil pressure. Then in the middle of that, I even get another screen telling me even more information. Right now, it's showing me how much range of fuel I have, which is 376 miles. It shows me the odometer, what gear I'm in, and that sort of thing. But we can change that. Uh, we have my oil change life, tire pressure, fuel economy, which is not great with a V8 and a heavy chunk of steel. A blank screen what? <laughs> I guess you can switch it to just display nothing but your mileage and your gear and then your actual speed on the steering wheel I have options to select the middle screen here and then of course my cruise control on the left in the center you get a touchscreen infotainment center one cool thing about the radio is that it does actually fold up a lot of new Chevys do this I think it's really cool you can actually stow stuff behind there you get, of course, your radio controls right below that. Then you get your climate control, which is dual zone. And there is air conditioning in the rear. There's two vents that go over the rear seats, which can then be controlled with the controls below your normal climate control. To the left of everything, I have my four-wheel drive switch. So this will actually allow me to switch the Tahoe from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, lock it in four low, you know, whatever I need to do. And of course you have lights as well. To the left of the steering wheel as well is you get this button that will actually leave the car running while the keys are out. This is a police feature. This is for when they have to get out um, for uh, uh, some type of crime uh, that has been committed. Uh, they can get out, leave the car running, but if anyone tries to take the car, the car will shut down. Now you might notice that this is actually a bench seat up front. And I thought that they got rid of bench seats a long time ago, but the Tahoe PPV does come with a giant bench seat, which is actually really nice. I miss bench seats. Going along with the interior, the floor has been rubberized for whatever this vehicle is going to be used for. 
And then you don't get a sunroof, but you do get the sweet dome light, which since it's a police car, you can turn red. I don't know why I find that really, really cool. All right, so I've actually never done a back seat this big and I don't have a sunroof to put um, the GoPro up on. So I'm, I apologize if this angle's weird. But I think it's safe to say that I'm probably the only person that will ever enjoy this back seat. Um, but that being said, it's not bad. These seats, they're a little hard. They're not luxury, obviously. Um, this is a utility vehicle. In terms of amenities, I get one little cigarette lighter down there. Um, I do have two air conditioning vents. Uh, so when the AC is turned on for the back, I do get that. I have two little... Oh, these look like LED lights. Not really going to be anything crazy. There's this weird hole. It, well, it looks like a cup holder. It's like a change holder. I don't think it would actually hold a cup. Um, but I do get like little cubbies in the door, which is kind of nice, I guess, if you want to throw change or something. But huge trunk. Huge trunk. No back seats. Um, but you do get cup holders back there, I guess. And cigarette lighters. So your non-existent rear passengers can have a uh, cup holders and cigarette lighters. So really what this thing feels like, and really what it is, is it's a hardened version of the Tahoe. The Tahoe kind of has become not a luxury SUV that's still really saved for the Escalade, but it's Tahoes have always been really nice riding vehicles. You can fit your whole family in them. I, I said in my original Tahoe review that it was really the embodiment of the American road trip where it's comfortable you can bring you know your two and a half kids and a golden retriever and your white picket fence in the back like that's what it was but this this is a no frazzle this isn't the American road trip this is getting work done and that's because that's what it's meant to do it's meant to get work done it's not meant to be a luxury driver or anything this is a fleet vehicle. At the end of the day, this is a fleet vehicle. All right, so since this is a fleet vehicle, you can actually go online. I'll leave a link in the description below and you can get a PDF of all the options, specifications, and everything about the PPV Tahoe, which is 53 pages, 53 pieces of paper about this car. So I've gone through and I've actually highlighted some interesting specifications and features of the PPV. So without further ado, <clears throat> so the first thing I found interesting was the surveillance feature, which says body control module calibration is available to disable all automatic and interior and exterior lighting. So this will basically black out the car for sting operations or, uh, or anything else you would need it to. I find it interesting that the fleet vehicle, the PPV comes with a teen driver mode um, so if you have a teen driver driving your squad car, you can lock it out. There are assist steps, which are on the side of the vehicle. Uh, it just says black mounted and between the front and rear wheels. That's all that description says, but I think that's really nice that they include that. The front fascia is body color with police specific lower extension for increased brake cooling and ground clearance. That's the interesting part is that it's for brake cooling and ground clearance. So they really do care about the performance comes with tow hook openings but does not include the tow hooks so I guess the police have to provide their own uh, fascia rear is body color with a step pad the tires are Goodyear P265 60 R17 all season V rated black wall um, includes matching spare tire so the alternator is 170 amp high output with idle boost based on battery energy level this is interesting this this category says batteries Primary 720 CCA 80 amp hour rating with battery uh, rundown protection and then uh, an isolated auxiliary 730 CCA 70 amp hour battery without battery rundown protection. The engine, like I said, is a 5.3 liter Ecotec 3 V8 with direct injection, variable valve timing, uh, blah, blah, blah. Exhaust is aluminized stainless steel muffler and tailpipe. I thought that was interesting. The rear differential just says heavy duty locking. There's no comma there, it just says heavy duty locking. Spark plugs are extended life spark plugs. The suspension is heavy duty police rated, includes specific spring rakes, ride height, shock tuning, and stabilizer bar. And then the last thing I thought was really cool was the underbody shield front. It's a two piece heavy duty aluminum 
front underbody shield starting behind the front bumper and running to the second cross member, protecting front underbody and oil pan. Um, so those are just some of the things I found interesting. There's 53 pages of that. So if you'd like to read that, I will have that down in the description below. So you might be wondering, why would a police department purchase a Tahoe? You know, they used to have Crown Vicks and you'd think a smaller car would be faster for pursuits. And while you might not be wrong, I'm actually not sure which is faster. This feels pretty quick. I would not doubt it if someone told me that this beats Crown Vicks. But police departments with new and newer technology, they have to carry a lot. Police departments have to carry all this technology, this high-end radar equipment and different lights, and they have to be up to code on so many different things. So old sedans just really weren't cutting the mustard anymore when it came to space. So that's why a police department would opt to get a bigger vehicle like this. Now, would they have a, a whole fleet of these? Would they only run these? Probably not. But police departments are favoring larger vehicles now just because of all that stuff they have to carry. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something about the Chevy Tahoe PPV. If you want to read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive. But again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really like to. Take care, guys. I, I, I,